Happy Wednesday, everyone. I'm Abby, I'm with the Fairport Public Library, and I've got another Wednesday craft for you. So let's get started. Here's what you're gonna need for today's craft. You're gonna need some fabric scissors, a pencil, some cord, I'm using leather cord here, a button, a hole punch, some extra fabric, and a circular um, thing you can use as a guide to make a circle. All right, for your first step, you're gonna lay out your scrap fabric. Now I have about a half a yard here of this faux uh, leather that I'm gonna use that I had left over from another project. So then you're gonna take your either your plate or I'm gonna use a pizza pan because I want it to be a little bit bigger um, and you're gonna place it on your fabric. Now I try to put it so that the edge is close to the edge of the fabric so it's less for me to cut out. Let's see if I can get you to see that a little bit better. There you go but I'm gonna be using this bigger edge on the pizza pan because I want it, I don't want this like weird wonky side. If I had a fully round pizza pan, that would be awesome, but I don't. So I'm gonna take my pencil, I'm gonna run it along the bottom edge of the pizza pan so that I can get a nice circle. Now you can see my fabric is not very flat right now, so that might be an issue. Go along the other side. All right, and there we go. It's not the best, but you know, I'm just using it as a guideline for right now. And I'm gonna take my fabric scissors, make sure they're fabric scissors because you want it to cut really smoothly, and I'm gonna cut this out. Now, if your circle is a little wonky like mine, it's okay because the way the cinch pouch closes, you can't really tell if the edge is smooth or not. The only time you're gonna be able to tell is when you open it up, if you ever open it up all the way. So I am gonna take a moment and cut out this circle of fabric. Okay, it is all cut out. So now we're gonna move on to our next step. And for that, we're gonna need our hole punch. Now, I got a Fisker's hole punch. It's a little bit smaller than your regular hole punch. You can see that the hole size there is a little bit smaller. It is, I believe, half an inch. I don't know, let me take a look and I will give you the right amount in just a moment. Um, but we're gonna take this and we're gonna use it to punch holes along the edge. Now, on this example piece I made, I punched the holes pretty close to the top of the fabric so I wanted to do it a little bit deeper on this one which is why I used a bigger circle for it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my hole punch in there and I'm going to pull it all the way so that the fabric hits the end and I'm going to pop it and I'm just going to stay like that you can see the little holes so I'm going to try to keep it as equidistant apart as I can and I'm gonna do that around the entire circle. All right, there we go. I've got the holes all the way around. I did discover that my hole punch is a 1 8 inch. So I was way off with the one half, but so it's a 1 8 inch hole punch and I put them as best as I could equidistant around. So now I've got some leather cord. I had this left over from another craft too. You can get any kind of cord that you have lying around. If you wanna, you don't have to use leather and you don't have to use faux leather fabric either. This is just stuff that I had for previous projects. So I've got my leather cord and I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna sew it into the fabric that I have here. Now for me, this side doesn't really matter. I want this to be my outside though. So I'm gonna have the cord sticking out that way to start. So I wanna come in like this. All right. So then I'm just gonna go in and out and in and out and in and out and sew into the holes just like you would if you were doing your shoelace or you know, anything like that. You're just gonna go in and out. I have to tell you guys, when I was doing the hole punching, my cat was standing nearby and every time I 
punched a hole, he jumped. <laughs> and I felt bad, but like it was also extremely hilarious because he would just flinch every time, even though I was nowhere near him and he was in no danger whatsoever. So I'm going through in and out. Now you can see these holes are a little bit further apart than my first example. Um, so we'll see how it looks when it comes out. You can put as many holes as you want. Um, when I did the first example one, I ended up having to um, add an extra hole right at the end so that my other string was coming out again. But I'm gonna do this and I will be back when it's done. So I finished pulling it through and I've got both of my ends coming out now. So you can just kind of fold the edges up and I'm gonna just pull it tight just to see what it's gonna look like when it's tight. So you can see we've got all of our little loopy loops. Clearly, there we go. So that's what it's gonna look like when it's fully uh, closed up. So now we're gonna make sure we can open it and have enough um, leather wire that we can open it and make it functional for us. So I'm gonna hold the shorter leather strap and pull out so that the side that has the longer excess comes in instead of the little one. So I'm not gonna open it all the way because there's gonna be very few times that I'm gonna open it all the way, but I wanna give it a big enough hole so that I have some excess leather. So I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm just gonna snip off on that. So we've got our bag and it's got the leather through it. And now I'm gonna go for my button. Now there are a lot of really cool buttons um, just at Joanne Fabrics. I actually went and got them, got one there just because the buttons that I had weren't that cool and I wanted it to be really unique. So I think I'm gonna have it this way. So you're gonna take your leather cord and you're gonna put it through your buttonhole. Let me see if I can get it there. Of course, it's gonna give me a pain while you're watching, but there we go. And I, I wanted mine to be a little tighter just so that the button didn't just slip off anytime it was open. So I'm gonna shove that in there, pull that out. Okay, so now I'm gonna try to keep my ribbons the same length and I'm gonna close up the pouch like that. So then at the bottom, I'm gonna tie little knots in the leather so that in case the button gets really loose in the bag or something like that, or you know, tie it well enough, they're not gonna fall totally off because there are knots at the end of your leather rope. So I'm gonna do that on the other side. Go. All right, so there we go. Now, I'm gonna tie an extra little bow because there is a lot of extra ribbon left. But when all is said and done, there is a cute little pouch that you can use for your purse or other places in your life. There you go, you did it. You made a little pouch. Please share with me what you make and tell me how you use this. I put this in my bigger purse to keep things together or I'll put my headphones in here so they don't get tangled. But I'd love to hear what you use it for and how and see what you make. So I will see you next Wednesday.